Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, let's talk about Fortnite and how following some of the information from yesterday, I think it's extremely safe to say that we will never see Fortnite on Google Stadia. But before we jump into why I think that's the case, please do me a favor, hit the like button. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing to the channel. I already feel a thousand times more cringy than I did before saying that. So thank you. But the fact is, Doing that tells YouTube that they should share this video and this channel with more people, which in turn helps me kind of hit my goal of being able to run this channel full time sometime in the future. Now that I've sold my soul to the devil, let's get back to the story. If you were unaware, all of this information comes from a court case between Epic Games and Apple. And this court case is filled with so much drama that is probably worthy of its own video. So. I will try my best to consolidate it. Essentially, Epic Games put Fortnite on the Apple App Store, and eventually they got tired of Apple taking a 30% cut of all revenue. So Epic decided to circumvent Apple's cuts by uploading the Epic Games Store to the App Store, which would allow people to buy things directly from Epic instead of going through Apple, cutting Apple out of the process completely. Apple then banned the Epic Games Store and eventually banned Fortnite entirely. Epic then posted this really cringy Fortnite video declaring war on Apple and then sued Apple to have the courts force Apple to change. I think we got it all there. <laughs> Bringing us to this week where the court case have finally begun. And during yesterday's deposition, the question was raised, why isn't Fortnite on cloud gaming services like xCloud? To which Joe Craner, Epic's vice president of business development said, we viewed Microsoft's efforts with xCloud to be competitive with our PC offering. You see, cloud gaming platforms like Stadia or xCloud do offer PC access, which Technically, if you are a PC gamer and Fortnite is listed on Stadia or xCloud, you could buy all of your loot boxes and from them instead of from the Epic Game Store, which is a little bit of irony there because on one hand, Epic is mad at Apple for taking their cut. And then on the other hand, Epic's doing the exact same thing, being like money, 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 money. And while Epic didn't include Stadia in their statement, I think it's very safe to say that if Epic has an issue with Game Pass where literally nothing is being bought, they definitely will have issues with Google Stadia. Now, a very important thing to note here is that Fortnite is available via cloud gaming through GeForce Now. In fact, last year, Epic partnered with Nvidia to offer support to multiple games through the Epic Game Store with GeForce Now. But the reason Epic is okay with games being streamed from here is because at the end of the day, Nvidia isn't making any profit on game sales. They are just streaming games that you buy from Epic. So at the end of the day, Epic still makes all the money. Now, obviously I can't say for sure that Fortnite is never coming to Google Stadia. And I already know that someone's gonna click that and use it against me the moment that Fortnite is announced on Stadia. And for me, you know, this isn't one of those situations where Epic doesn't know who Stadia is. I, I think they already had a lack of desire to bring the game to the platform. And then when you tie that into what Epic said in court, I, I think it's extremely safe to say that the chances of this happening are very slim. Remember, Epic CEO Tim Sweeney was asked point blank, why isn't Fortnite on Google Stadia? And he tweeted, there's not a deep reason. We fully support Stadia in Unreal Engine. However, the effort required to release Fortnite updates weekly in sync across seven plus platforms is extreme. And that makes it hard to add platforms that don't yet have mass market user bases. So it always comes back to the money for you, Sweeney. I'm starting to sense a trend here. Which admittedly, when that statement came out last year, I was in the camp that said, well, Tim Sweeney said, yet, so technically, you know, the door's still open. But again, after hearing Epic say in court that they are concerned with business models that compete against their PC offerings, which a service like Google Stadia obviously does, in my personal opinion, that door is pretty much shut. Now, is that said door locked? No, 
I mean, Google could drop buttloads of money on Epic's doorstep to create some type of partnership where we eventually get to see Fortnite on Stadia. I mean, let's not forget that Google reportedly paid Capcom $10 million to port Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village to Stadia. So obviously, Google is willing to drop cash to bring gamers to the platform. But I guess the thing that I take away from all of this is just, it's very hypocritical. Like, like, Epic is okay with platforms like PlayStation, Nintendo, or Xbox who openly compete against their PC offerings, whereas services like Stadia or xCloud are somehow painted as enemy number one. And realistically, if anyone is stealing business from Epic on PC, it's consoles. As according to court documents released this week, PlayStation 4 generated 46.8% of Fortnite's revenue. Xbox made up 27.5%, iOS was just 7%, and the remaining 187 was split between Android, Nintendo, and PC. So even if you were to split that 18% evenly, you get 6%, which is massively dwarfed by console sales that make up 74% of Fortnite's total revenue. So Mr. Sweeney, what the hell are we talking about here? And I guess to wrap this all up, I want to ask you, how do you feel about this story? Do you think that there's still a chance that we could see Fortnite on Google Stadia? Do you think that Epic has a valid reason for banning cloud gaming? And who do you think will end up winning this court case? I I'm really interested to hear your thoughts, so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.